Okay, in a previous task, you were looking at completing coordinate tables and then turning those coordinate tables into points that could be plotted and connected to make line graphs. So here's an example of a coordinate table already filled in. So X values along the top and the rule we've got down here to work out the Y values is 2X. So when X is minus 2, 2x would be 2 times minus 2, which is minus 4. When x is minus 1, 2 times minus 1 will be minus 2, and so on. So these are all the values that are going to be representing y, and these numbers on the top are all representing x. But you've got a coordinate grid underneath. So plus on the first point, minus 2, minus 4 would be in that position there. Then minus 1, minus 2. And zero, zero, and one, two, and two, four. If we connect all those points together, we end up with our line graph. And the name given to this line graph is the rule which created our y values. So y equals 2x. y equals 2x would be the name of this graph. So we have x values, and to work out the y values, it's 2 times the x values. So that's how we can create a graph using a coordinate table. So the task involving the website Desmos factors around just focusing on the graphs rather than the process of making the graphs. So we come out of this, and if we have a little look, at Desmos. This is the Desmos website on the left, desmos.com calculator. So I've got a coordinates uh, grid here and I've got uh, an area over on the left hand side where I'm going to be putting in the names of my graphs. On the right I've got the worksheets that you're going to be using to investigate the line graphs. So I'm going to do one task at a time. I'm just going to give you the gist of the task and hopefully it should give you an idea how to do the rest. So task one, construct the graphs for the following equations. So I've got one, two, three, four, five equations written here. And we're going to be constructing them so all five of these graphs can be seen at the same time. The way in which we do that using the website is over on the left hand side, you can see where it says one here. I'm going to type in the name of my first graph, which is y equals 2x. And you'll note that this is actually exactly the same graph as what we had on our last example. So here was y equals 2x, which we constructed from the table of coordinate values. And the website just produces the graph straight away without having to use any coordinate points. It knows how to make the coordinate points because that's what the name of the graph implies. Okay, so we have our graph for y equals 2x. What we need now is our next graph, y equals 4x. So what we're going to do is we're going to click just underneath the y equals 2x box, like so. And notice a little 2 has now appeared. We're going to uh, produce graph number 2. So I'm going to type in y equals 4x. This one happens to be in green. So these little weird symbols on the left indicate the color of our graphs. And you'll notice we now have another graph on top. This one is a bit steeper than the last one. And this is our graph for y equals 4x. And a little thing you can do with the website, if I just click on this green symbol next to y equals 4x, the symbol will disappear and it will actually make the graph disappear. So this just makes the graph y equals 2x be the only graph that we have on our grid. If I click where this was previously, I can make that graph reappear again. So I now have two graphs at the minute, one for y equals 2x and one for y equals 4x. Going back to our worksheet, the next graph we have to produce is y equals 0.5x. I'm going to put that in on the last one, just y equals 0.5x. And then we have a third graph produced. So we will continue doing this until we get all five graphs on our grid. And what we're asked to do here in this little box is to put these graphs in order of shallowest to steepest. So whichever of these five graphs produces the shallowest graph, so if I have a look at these three that I've got at the minute, the shallowest is the one uh, which we last uh, constructed, which is y equals 0.5x. It's the most shallow of the bunch. Uh, the steepest that we've got was y equals 4x. That's the one that 
um, increases the quickest. So in order, we would have y equals 0.5x, then y equals 2x, and then y equals 4x. But we manipulate the order for all five graphs. So we need all five graphs in Desmos, and then we can decide on what the order is from. There's then a bonus question here with a star, um, but it's only, it's only if you uh, have an idea on how to answer it. So you don't have to worry about the star questions if you're not too sure. Um, before moving on to task number two, it does say after each task, delete the lines to construct the next set. So if you want to delete any of the graphs we produce, which I'm going to do now, there's a little X. It's quite faint before you hover over um, with your little cursor. This little X here, I'm going to click on it, and I'll make my last graph disappear, and then this one, and then finally this one. So I've now got an empty coordinate grid. So now I can start task number two. Task number two starts with construct graphs for the following equations so all three can be seen. So I've got three graphs written here, y equals 2x, y equals 2x minus 3, and y equals 2x plus 1. We have to construct all three, so I type all three into Desmos, and then uh, what we're asked immediately after that would be what mathematical word describes the three lines. Uh, it gives us a clue, it starts with the letter P. We would have to produce all three graphs to have an idea on what word would best describe them. And then we have a follow-up question um, that also relates to those three graphs. Task number three uh, requires us to construct pairs of graphs at a time. So we have a pair of graphs here, so we need to plot both of those using Desmos. Um, and then it says, note which graph slopes up and which graph slopes down. Well, let's have a look at this first example so we see what this means. I'm going to draw this first graph in this moss. Y equals 2x plus 5. Y equals 2x plus 5. So I've got my first graph here. And then I need the second graph as part of the pair, which is y equals minus 2x plus 5. So notice how they kind of crisscross over one another. And the task says, note which graph slopes up and which slopes down. Well, out of the two, the first graph we produced, y equals 2x plus 5, that graph seems to be sloping upwards. And y equals minus 2x plus 5, that is a graph which slopes downwards. So what you can do if you have off the worksheet or make a note on paper, what you could do is either draw next to the equations or write them down on paper which graph slopes up. So this first one slopes up, so I could draw a little upward arrow next to this one. And this one slopes down, so I could draw a little downward arrow next to that one. And then we delete those graphs and do the same for the next pair and then for the last pair. And then finally, there's an extension task below that. Then we delete everything and have a go at task number four. But hopefully that is enough information for us to have a little go at investigating line graphs with the Airsboss website.